Latif Idris's life has undergone significant changes since March 27, 2018. His troubles began after an alleged police brutality incident, resulting in a severe fractured skull. I was going live. I needed to know the actual name of the one I was, I was going to stand in front of it to make the live report. So that's, that inquiry, for some reason, infuriated the officer. He again pushed me into his colleagues who also took turns to assault me, hit me with sticks and the butt of the gun in the head and that caused a fracture. Latif's promising career was severely impacted by the incident that nearly disfigured his face. Over the years, he has relied on a stimulator to activate dead facial nerves for survival. I don't feel comfortable wearing it around, you know, particularly in this environment. The condition is a bit different from the United States where I put it on every single day. Then came his worst fear of losing his job due to his frequent absence and medical travels to the United States. For me, progress has been non-existent. In the United States alone, we've, we've spent about $35,000 and here we've spent about 30,000 Ghana cities. Recent media attacks, including a petrol bomb attack on a class media group in Accra, have been reported. The violent attacks and sometimes brutal killings of journalists have posed a significant threat to news production and journalism of accountability. You'll be exposing some ills in society and some people are very comfortable with the ills in society. So they feel their life is, is under threat with your reportage, therefore they would actually come at you. Sorry to say this, but the GJ is not helping journalists because there are some... Uh, issues that you think that the GGA should speak up, but they go quiet on it. When it comes to stories, it depends on the story you are working on. It determines whether you are safe or not. Freedom comes with responsibility. And as advocacy for journalist safety increases, calls for media content regulation also arise. We were at a point where I think uh, the media have to start thinking seriously about regulation and how regulation works, whether that's self-regulation, as most people in the media would, most would argue, or whether that's regulation by some independent body. The accepted approach is that even when a journalist makes a mistake, the solution is not an attack or threat, but the use of an appropriate channel to address the issue. It will be hypocritical on my part to sit here and say that there are no psychological effects of these assaults and the injuries that I suffered. So now the issue of self-censorship is always at the back of my mind. That is how we kill journalism. The recent attacks indicate a growing sense of uncertainty regarding the safety of the media, especially in the upcoming December 7 general elections. Reporters and media outlets are taking control of their own lives to ensure their safety. Some of our journalists have indeed been subject to physical attack. We are very concerned to make sure that we do not put people who are inexperienced and do not have knowledge of the particular ground conditions where we're asking them to report into a position of that kind where they might be exposed. The Ghana Journalists Association plans to implement necessary protocols for media safety before, during and after the upcoming elections. We know that the evil doers are still not asleep, they've not gone to bed, they are still uh, walking around, but we are also awake. Our eyes are widely open and we are ever ready that look, if you, don't, if you cannot stand the temperature of the media, stay away from us. And we continue to advise ourselves to very circumspect in the discharge of our duty. Latif, currently in the cross-examination stage of his legal battle, has established Journalist Sanctuary International to provide safety gear to journalists. Ghana's Global Press Freedom Index ranking has improved in the last year, indicating a need for increased effort to ensure journalist safety in the future. Christianity TV3 News.